Pat with Pat's Two Cents in recognition and in honor of Brother Ralph Walker. See you on the other side, Brother Barack. Actually, it was out here in this area. I think he had flower beds he was working on. But there was something unique about Ralph that uh, I will never forget. And I'll share that part with you here in just a little bit. But I got to thinking this morning, actually the last couple of days when I got the call, of Lord, what can I say that would be inspirational, that would be strength, also uh, to the family. And I got to thinking about the what we call the ministry of life. Every one of us have a purpose in life. Wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, if you're into bad things, that's where you're heading. But if your life is to do good and to exceed in goodness and righteousness, there's that. I got to thinking about the Walker family. And when you look at them in whole, it is, it's a very unique family in itself. And let me share that part with you. And I hope I didn't get these wrong. I'm just, I wrote it as I remembered. But this was about the Walker family. When you look at their choices in life, it's a whole display of ministry itself. For instance, Miriam, raise your hand, Miriam. <laughs> she is the minister of ministry of the beginning of life. Babies, am I correct? That come into this world. Yes. Then I look at Rashida. She is she walks with men, women like myself of age as we go through life and getting to that place in life that we don't no longer have the strength to do things that uh, we once did. Then I look at my daughter-in-law, Rachel, and her life is very unique in the fact that she is the mother of life. This little guy that you just saw, my grandson, his mother. Then I look at Judy, and Judy was, her ministry was with those that were exiting life. Yep. Like my wife, Sue. You stood beside her in her last days. Then I looked at Ralph, and his is accomplishments in life. And you can tell that we see it in interviews that he had, in pictures that he had, in letters that was given, in governments that he talked to, presidents, leadership of all walks of life, not only to the elder, but to children. The testimonies that I heard in some of you tonight verifies this. Someone asked me a while ago, said, well, let me just say this, that a few days before Ralph passed, he called me. And we have never, that I remembered, I was trying to remember, I don't think we ever hung the phone up except there was prayer made. And the last time he talked to me, I said, Ralph, I said, I, I want to pray for you. And he said, please do. And so I gave my prayer and just touching God the best I could for him. But when I got through, he said, Bill, he said, now I want to pray for you. And he prayed one of the most awesome prayers that I can remember anyone praying for this man right here him dying. Someone asked me a while ago, said, what, what was the best memory you had of Ralph? What stands first and foremost in your life? And I told him about that prayer. It was the prayer he I'll never forget. The greatest 
thing that we have, Judy, right now, and Sis just brought it out, is the, the power of remembrance. I refuse to forget the things that I remember from Ralph Walker. You call it Barack. I didn't know that until really. <laughs> it's all right. Well, in fact, when I got to think about it, he even looks like a Barack. I don't know why I didn't call him that to begin with. But I refuse to forget those things. Those are forever held in my mind. And those for every one of us that know, knew him and loved him, let those memories stay there. Amen. I want to pray now, and I'm asking that all of you honor in this and bowing your heads. Would, the, would you do that? Lord, I pray a prayer of faith and strength to this family and friends that you, Lord, would keep them in the palm of your hand, guide them through the loneliness and sorrowful times of their life, help them to gain strength through the eternal love that you bless us with day by day. And now, Lord, I ask that you let that fulfillment of the scriptures found in Numbers 6, 24 and 25, when you inspired through the word of God, that the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in this time of need. And everyone said amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you for that. Uh, next up, um, well, I told you how excited. All right, your turn to sing. Come on, get over. <laughs> uh, I told you how excited we were when uh, our first boy was born. But man, I I can't tell you the gleam in his eyes and the smile on his face and the love in his heart when his granddaughter was born. Uh, please give it up for Amir Lucas Savage. She will be reading the obituary. Hey, everybody. Hello. Um, I'm Mira. Um, it's my mom, Rachel, my dad, Keith. And it's honestly really nice to see you. It's see everybody here today. Um, it's just... Okay, I'm going to get on to this. Um, Ralph Ronald Walker was born on November 14, 1948, in Chicago, Illinois. After attending Anselm's Catholic Elementary School, he then graduated high school, and soon after he would join the Black Panther Party. He earned his associate's degree at Malcolm X College in 1975, and graduated from Loyola University with a bachelor's degree in 1978. Ralph found the love of his life in 1977, Judy Smalls, a young woman from Kingston, Jamaica, who enlightened him with the sound and culture of Jamaica. They married in 1978 and would later give birth to three very lovely daughters. In 1980, he said goodbye to Chicago and headed west to sunny Pasadena. It was here he began his legendary involvement in the community and went on to own his own bookstore. In 1988, he would move to the small town Monrovia, 10 miles east of Pasadena. Ralph went on to earn countless awards and recognition with the city of Monrovia and KGEM studio as an announcer, a show host, and a producer who worked with them for nearly 35 years, and doing programming that had been infor informing the community, community about headline news that happened locally, news that happened in region, information, and ideas that happened in our country. Thank you.